Okay, so thank you for coming to watch this video of the park, with which I was lucky to enough to have Joel Bylos, the creative director and writer of this game, um, from Funcom. He was with me. He was only able to be with me for about 10, 20, 10, 15 minutes or so, unfortunately. Um, he got called away and had to go home, unfortunately. But, you know, um, I'm sure his wife figures much more importantly in his life than I do. I'd be worried if it was the other way around. Um... Anyway, yeah, I was considering sort of editing this video down a bit, maybe just skip some bits and, you know, just focus, I want to say, almost want to say just focus on the action and stuff. Um, and that's sort of what I was planning to do beforehand, because I knew it was going to take a couple of hours, but the game was awesome all the way through, I think. I mean, it's slow bits and stuff, but the game, I believe, is worth watching in its entirety, just all the way through, start to finish, because... Frankly, if bits I might have been considering skipping before I started playing it are bits where there is exposition or stuff, stuff that the protagonist is saying and all of that sort of stuff, so I've decided just to put the whole thing in as it is. Um, if you want to hear the conversation I was having with Joel, that's pretty much just the first ten minutes or so of it after this point. Uh, totally thank you very so much to Joel, you're awesome. For coming on, you of it you didn't have to do that at all, and it's totally awesome that you did. Shame you couldn't stay longer, but you know the fact that you came on at all, you know, I'm fine with it. Um, so yeah, folks, um, enjoy. Yay! And people can hear us at last. Really? Well, I'm still not sure we couldn't hear us before. <laughs> it's alright. I'll, so. I'll stop swearing it. <laughs> yeah, most most things most things you're saying are Octavian, but just between us. stream on another screen so I could see. <laughs> During the course of play, Ark may screw with your sanity. I certainly hope so. <laughs> In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Tell me if my typing's too loud. I'm doing Stay about 400 far. things here at the Go moment. <laughs> That's fine. Empty car park. Why on earth do I feel that's a bad idea? Blame Tokyo! Attention patrons, the park is now yes. closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Oh, the car park. The park yes, we made a character. You can look at her and everything. Mm. <laughs> Hello. That's good. Most of the time you look down and you see a heart, an arm sticking out to an empty Place. Or just nothing in a lot of these type of games. This is his usually, usually just a floating head. There's no body, but we kind of wanted to make Lorraine have a a presence mm. in the world, so we gave her a body. And yeah, that uh, necklace she's wearing is actually something that everybody in the secret world That's will the get talisman, for free. It? it was from was it ex husband or no father? I can't remember exactly what it says now. The oh, I don't know what it says in TSW about it. I, Probably wrote the text, but I can't remember. Mm. So. See, a tribute <laughs> to the untamed heart of Solomon Island and the people who used their talents to bring the dream of Nathaniel Winter to life. May this park be a place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to infect all of those who follow after. I can't help but feel that infect is a bit of a relevant word here. The Winter family were very wonderful people. Mm. I need to go back and play the. Went um, in park missions again in um, Secret World at some point. Right, information. We're trying to go. What? Uh... Strangely, fuzzy. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself. I think your stream is. 
people I'm a little bit behind where you are. <laughs> take a deep breath. Think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. How did he know he'd tell him had lost the teddy bear? Because he came straight out and said that. Lorraine never said anything. Am I supposed to tell you things, or are you just supposed to play them, figure it out? I'm just sort of thinking out loud. I mean, you're welcome to tell me if you really want to. But... <laughs> no, no. Wait for mommy, Callum. Over here. Ooh, thing. Like things. Ooh, Chad the chipmunk. I got a sneak peek of Chad the chipmunk's costume last week. Tommy came and did scenarios with me on stream, and he may or may not have been wearing it at the time. <laughs> he made true. he made me promise not to actually scream about it and tell him, so I only highlighted it just before we started. Uh, I hard to read some of that. Maybe it's my graphics settings. Uh, let's see. Up we go. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. Ooh. Dark and spooky. Ah, okay. That's where you're at. Yeah. And it's <laughs> I just me. I have to be careful because I know there's a lot of talking in the beginning and I don't yeah. want to talk over anything. Yeah, I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to find out. And is it just me, but all those plants down the middle of the two escalators dying? I can't quite tell. They looked like they were dying, but I'm not quite sure. It might just have been light. It wouldn't surprise me. I don't. I don't oh know God. if that's a detail that I specified. So the artist <clears> probably did <throat> their own thing there. What happened here? It's uh, the entrance there is very much based on the uh, the Norwegian amusement park Tusenfrid, which where you take a long escalator up into the amusement park from the, yeah. from the bottom from the car park. Hmm. We went to stay in Norway once. Family holiday. This was before I ever heard anything about the Secret World or I'd come to visit you guys. But, you know, it was before we came to stay. We would visit Oslo for a day. Yeah. Funny, I'd walk right here? past your offices and never known. Really? Yeah, well. It's not a common tourist area where our offices are, so <laughs> yeah. probably didn't, <laughs> didn't go past it. Roller coaster. Bumper cars. First wheel. Ah, oh, the orchestra. House of Horrors, and a bit of bark to see what that says. Ah, Tunnel of Tales. Let's go for a walk. Callum? Callum, where are you? I feel like we need a torch. See you. I sort of want to chase after him, but I don't want to miss anything. <laughs> You'll probably be okay. But look over here, because this is where he just was, so I'll see what he might have seen. I should have gone to this map. This map's got, map's got much better lighting on it. Oh, this looks nice and cheery. Where are you at? Big gaping mouth, which I believe is the House of Horrors. Was it the tunnel of something I can't even remember the name of? I believe that's the House of Horrors. Oh yeah, there's a big red You Are Here star. 
Oh, that doesn't sound at all horrible. Where are you? <laughs> Come on, this way. Oh yeah, it's definitely one of my. What could possibly go wrong? Too dark. I'm not going in there without a flashlight. I was just thinking that. Do we get a torch somewhere? We got a torch. Oh, is that a torch? No, that's just a ground spot. That would have been a bit convenient. Let's see. Why am I might want to find a flashlight? She sounds a very look quite a lot like um, Norma Creed. Oh really? She has the I... same. I mean, is it the same voice actor? I'm not sure. No, no, not at all. But it's the same um, regional sort of accent. Mm, well, mm, I suppose like, it is. Yeah. Well, they're in the same place. So. Yeah, Lorraine's oh, we... from Boston. Mm. And, uh... Ooh, it's in shoe. I think this belongs to Cal. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 hard. Oh, <laughs> two seconds. Not too early. So we have two. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Chad can be seen in daily ice sculpting shows in the following locations. 11am at Sideshow Alley. 1 p.m. at Octron and 3 p.m. at the park entrance. And a poem. Well, I say poem. Okay, so Chad the chipmunk worst in class. Chuck, Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will die a useless slob. So much fun to write those things. <laughs> I can't help my, wondering uh, who wrote those. That was, that was my wife telling me that I have to go home now. Yeah. I've been at work for a long time today. <laughs> I can imagine. Busy day. But yeah, no, it's been insane. It's been really cool. Mm. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry to be here for a very short time and then have to leave. Oh, but, that's uh, okay. Thank you for coming, for even for a little bit anyway. Yeah, no worries, man. I, I, I was really interested in sort of watching you and hearing what you thought. Mm. But uh, I've been, I've, that's what I've been doing today, actually, watching all <laughs> streams. Watching your porn stream, yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time. Pretty yeah, well, thank you for ride. thank you for coming for at least a short time. No worries. Thank you very much for having me. And uh, yeah, we'll catch up. Oh, you know indeed. how to contact me. <laughs> indeed. I, I have your Skype now. There's no escape. Yes, exactly. Great. Talk cool. to you later. Indeed. Bye. Thank you very much. What is this about? Ah, that's a shame. Thank you so very much, Joel, for coming. Thank you very much, Joel, for coming to watch, even if it was only for a little time. You know, family first. That one. I just put it on and on song line for pittance, and my dad. It's of old Archie Henderson. Oh, my guy's that name. Did the locals just the mention of his name with people slamming doors, locking shutters from the moment I arrived on the island? Uh, my lawyers had arranged everything in advance. But the altar still had to come and deliver the keys to me personally. He took it upon himself to offer me another warning. I don't know what you're planning to do with this land, Mr. Winter, but the soil here is a bit of a curse carried from the old country. Old man Henderson, he did terrible dark things. The land remembers, sir. I dismissed him shortly afterwards, mostly amused by his pathetic attempts at warning me off. I have a great vision for this place. And the will to see that vision through to the very end. Atlantic Island Park. The name is perfect and I cannot imagine it being anything else. This is the start of something amazing. Well, yeah, it's the start of what is probably going to be an awesome game, I'm sure. Restrooms. Can we go in? We cannot. Come back here right now. This way, mommy.
You can't go in a boys' restroom. You're a woman, and that would be weird. Ah, it's a toggle. That's why it was being weird before. Okay. Let's see, Ender. Hello. Sorry, I sort of saw you there, but. Okay, Ender, hello. I sort of did see you there, but I was sort of having a conversation with Joel at the time, and so I didn't really pay much attention to you. Sorry, that's... Mommy. Wait, what? Are you... Callum, stay where you are! Where are you, Callum? Callum, where are you? I feel like I should be able to see you if I can hear you that loudly. Pause that for a sec, and... Oh, what's it? No, behave, stupid computer. Uh, oh, and it's gone. We have Shimrod and Wardgeist, though. Oop, so, thank you for guys to come to watch. Uh, okay. Obviously frightened and off by. Okay. Does anyone else have a serious problem with the fact there's exactly one swan here for me to ride? Not like a whole stack of them. Hello? Callum. Okay, I'm gonna risk it. What could possibly go wrong? I should say for anyone who hasn't played has played Secret World, there'll be several references in here that you recognise. For anyone who hasn't, why not? And you totally should. But yeah. If you have played The Secret World, you will know something of what happened in this place before. Alan, why did you go? Alan, why did you go? Oh, near awesome. the forest, there lived ah, one of his. His wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or suck. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow. Oh, I don't like that. There. No, my wife. I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel. Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. Oh, that's red eye something there. I didn't quite see it. This After receiving me. a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Oh, something. Something is happening. 
Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of also, crumbs to lead the Mum in this story is a bit of a dick. Snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Oh, how quiet. But there are ravens and it was a revenant following them. Their parents, and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. We well, seem to have stopped. The oh, children stumbled no. into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Nibble, nibble, little mouse. My house! An old woman emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to you. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back, for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Yeah, bit of a dick. Children, don't be I have something for you. Freshly the old woman baked. offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Is this an a shitty pretty bang bang at this point? The old woman urged, and the children still licking their sweets. I have a big issue of what just happened. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. These kids just don't get a blank, do they? brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I feast upon him. Old children's tales and stuff. Time passed. Almost. And poor Hansel refused to eat. Inevitably. The day that the witch not as nice as they're made out to be these days. I mean, we've had so far what? Today, child cruelty, child labour, um, enslavement, and cannibalism. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? The old witch said, The opening is here! And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Go, half of the wind! Oh. And together they lit a fire beneath the oven. At least she didn't know how. The children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. Us adding um, deliberate murder to the list of the sort of crimes then, in this story. Because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the and there's a cannibalism and ate her. Or wasn't that a cheery story? No, I'm sure I saw red eyes looking at me from the left then, but I just missed them, I didn't really get very good. Oh! Oh! Okay, that's disturbing. I don't even... What? Why? What? Why? Okay. I don't even... Is, is that is that part of the weird magic of the park, or is that part of the actual ride? I'm, I'm not even sure I want to know. Of course I want to know, that's a silly thing to say. Callum, where did you go? Meanwhile, back to the whole... I think I heard him from this direction. 
Yeah, back to the whole your kid is missing thing. Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest, the birds, the old witch, even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Let's go back to do the running thing. Come back, Callum. I'm gonna assume. Keep going. This way. Another accident. This place. I'm now getting mildly alarmed by waving tree branches whenever that happens. Like I said, if you've played the park emissions in the secret world, you know what is is which has happened here, or sort of is happening. By the time of the secret world is set modern day, you know what has happened in that past that point, this is set um, about 30 years ago. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Oh, reassuring. Really feel pleased, to, you know, for bits of rock falling down. I can hear whispering. I don't want to be able to hear whispering. Spring is bad. Uh, okay, anyway. Hey, you fell as well. It's like, I know what is in this park, having played the Secret World Russians at here. I know what is in the park, so I sort of know what may or may not be following me. Or waiting for me, or something. You, you know, I sort of know a bit about the story of it, which is, you know, and also, Callum. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. Used to make me dizzy. Them in the port. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. Okay, we're waiting for our turn on this ride. On the ride, Frank, me and the boys. This fellow in a chipmunk suit is making an ice carving while people took photographs. Lawrence wants to go over to him but was being a bit worried about his suit, so giving the creeps. It's silly, I know. Yeah. Um anyway, the chipmunk man he was carving and picking away at the ice, and at first we thought he was making some animal like a tiger or a lion. But as more and more ice fell away. When you first looked, it was like a human face smiling out of that block of ice. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw it was something not quite right out of proportion, something unnatural that made your heart begin to flutter. Just, Begin to beat just a little bit faster, even because I can't read. Like your prey, and that thing in the ice was a hunter. But then these teenagers walked up, and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit. And then, well, he went berserk. 
For a few moments it was chaos. Everyone was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground and he was stab stab stabbing with the ice pick and blood was spraying and people were screaming and Frank and I had the kids and we were dragging him away as fast as we could. And the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was that the eyeball of one of those poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture, making the horrible creature look more or less alive. That's not at all disturbing. And what we have here, Sheriff F. Bannerman and Norma Creed. And again, secret world references all over because they're sentence and location and stuff, of course. But um, you'll recognise those names. I think that came from misdirection. Do we get to right? Oh, right up from here. I can't get on while it's moving. I don't see why not. Ah, decrease speed. Ooh, increase speed. No, let's decrease speed. I get the distinct impression that the speed will be going up a fair bit while I'm on it. Seems like the sort of thing which is likely to happen. Whoa! Okay, that's quite disturbing. Okay, I recognised that. Oh no, you don't want to break down now. Oh no, we're going down. Yeah, I bet that didn't scare the daylights out of her. Oh, and did you see that? See, I knew I'd missed something. There was a man in the control room. Slightly curious to see how fast we will go. It does seem a bit strange that you have two levers, one to increase it and one to decrease the speed. Yeah, of course. It does seem a bit strange that you have two levers like that, but hey, hey, no matter. Talk, I don't decide why this for a living. Right. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, no, I need to go around it here.
Uh. Where did you go? The ironic thing is that I now actually can't... That's not irony. I can't actually hear anything he might be saying. Or anything. So I think I need to slow this down because it's making too much noise. Also because you know otherwise I feel like the whole thing might send cars flying. Right, now I might be able to actually hear something. Where are you? I will be. I don't know how many people are currently watching. See how many people are currently watching. Oh wow, you. You already have a copy of the game. I will try and give copies away if um Stop! Kill him! Ah, that's right. Excellent. I will try I will give away copies if there are people who are interested and who don't already need it. Not I can always save them for extra life. <laughs> Strength by a flat plan seem incomplete. I know as well as anyone but rules of the game can be changed for enough money, but no matter how much money talks, it can't conjure up missing plans in thin air. I try contacting the organization who sold me these plans and they are stonewalling me. Every contact that I had, every meeting place that I have watched have as I've had watched I'll swap men's foot there. I have a sinking feeling that I've been swindled. We've gone ahead with what we could find in the plans regardless for harvesting machines, that transport mechanisms, etc. I'll probably let Nicholas name them something cute for the day we open the park. I will be rides after all. So yes, Nathaniel Winter. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. He is. is it still this way? Come back. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. That is one of those ones which was sort of talked about in Joel's interviews. This one thought which... That uh, one thought which... And having that one thought at that one time, in that situation, Oh, thank you, good stream. Thank you for retweeting. Um, but yes, these... Having that one thought in that, at that time, in that situation like that, is... Probably not a good thing. And yeah, Clee, you missed Joel, unfortunately. He had to take off after ten minutes or so, unfortunately. His wife happened... His wife called and told him that he had to come home. Oh, weird page. Right. Uh, 
I thought working in the park for someone would be a lot of fun, but the end of season here really drags on. I mean, tourists dance most of the stars from the day standing around gossiping. And most of that gossip is about Chad. I mean, Steve. Even I am still wanting to call him Chad and I went to school with a guy. Oh, so sh Yeah, didn't you know? Play, didn't you know? I was like, tweets and everything. Don't you read my Twitter? Dude, I'm insulted. Yeah, I asked Joel if he would be interested in coming on to the stream. And just chattering about it as we went through and he was on that was cool and then his wife called and he had to go. Which sort of sucked. But it was good to have him on for a while. We didn't get much talking done. It was about right up to the House of Horrors, unfortunately. And well, I was going past that and he had to go at that point. It'll be in the first ten minutes, so the stream I'll probably highlight that section. <laughs> yeah, you have too much time busy on your own Twitter. Anyway, um if this person went to school with Chad the Chipmunk. Um it's that goddamn Suit. In the beginning, it was a laugh. Steve, the local lush, as Chad, the chipmunk, child friendly mascot at the Atlantic Island Park. Park, lock up your daughters and all of that. But the more he wears that suit, the weirder Steve is getting. At first, it was little things like refusing to change out of a suit at work and taking it home with him every day. Then I saw him at Susie's Diner, secret world reference, um, still wearing it, and it wasn't even a work day. Some of the staff complained discreetly to park management about the smell, and I saw him walking and talking with Mr. Winter, the owner, one day. But nothing seems to have changed. The suit still smells like a carcass whenever Steve walks by, and apparently Steve has picked up some new skills since I last saw him puking up in the gutter outside the cycle station. Because he sure as hell can carve a mean eye sculpture. Those shapes he makes me eyes though, they give me the creeps. Steve came by the brief today, lucky me, and he just hung around for a while. I couldn't really tell because of the suit, but it seemed like he was just staring at me. Sizing me up, I fucking me, whatever he was doing. I asked him what he wanted and he just stood there, not saying anything. Eventually, I called my supervisor and when he came by, Chad, Steve, walked off. My supervisor told me to put everything in writing, so here it is. Also, I'd quit. I don't want to see that super, uh, supermarket? No. I don't want to see that chipmunk ever again. Laura Henman. Which is not a name I can remember from anything in the secret world. We got Susie's diner, the cycle station. And there's the interesting thing, he only changed after he started wearing the suit. Whoa! Okay. Okay, I did not see that coming. Look at a hammering heart. Are you? What was that saying? Come out, sweetie. Yeah, oh, so that was a shock for you as it was to me. <laughs> this, I'd swear, is coming. Is that coming from over here? Do I have to find the way into this building? Okay, no, I think that's just a good spot going through the wall. Clipping issue or something. Anyway, uh, let's see. Callum, where'd you go? Mother duck's quack, 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 quack. Where I'm supposed to go in that room? I can't work out how. That appears to be. You sure? It's, 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 it seems like. They, um, okay, you say that, and that's going to walk on then. But anyway, so the chipmunk suit. It seems as if um, Steve, who played Chad the chipmunk, didn't start changing until after. Ah, quack, quack, quack. 
I need to go and play those missions again because clearly our brain is rotted and I can't remember anything about them. But, yeah, so it sounds like that chipmunk suit is what started changing Steve. Or something, somehow. Don't hide from me, Callum! Oh, that doesn't sound at all sinister. You can't catch me. I have an issue with that. Ben, I seem to have an Constant issue. Constant crashes in eighties music. Guess it floats someone's boat. Wait, 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 bumper cars. Okay, so that bridge, on that one up to the top was broken. So we've just come down here. Okay, so let's take a look at the bumper cars. Go this way. Oh yeah, here we are. DJ sets behind bulletproof glass. We have to get into them. I'm open to helpful hints here, sure. Helpful hints are always good. Only a hint, oh, I don't want any like spoilery stuff because that would suck. Oh, look off the truck first. Okay. Let's take a look. What am I doing? I'm trying to walk through a solid fence. Oh, right up near where I first came in. Okay. Ah! I see you. I'm not very good at noticing these things, am I? Okay, that's not at all weird. What was it? It was about here, I thought, wasn't it? I know, why don't we go try that one with its lights on? That would be sensible. So I'm an accident before. Oh, that fills me with confidence. Francis Dufresne, uh, that must be Danny Dufresne's dad or uncle or senior relation. 
Okay, Labour working on the train. Supervisor Richard Stapleton. Witnesses Lawrence Creed and Michael Edgeworth. Lawrence Creed would have been... Well, that's Norma Creed's late husband, I believe. Late by the time of the Secret World, presumably still alive at this point. Um, was it the son? I can't remember what she says in her story now on the Secret World. Anyway, related to Norma Creed. A uh, brief description of the accident or incident. During transport of a bumper car and Furina, one of the strap capturing the load to the truck came and tied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was standing directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Despite any injuries caused, Francis was killed. You think? Uh, injured employee sees doctor. <laughs> yes. If yes, did he forget an employer's passion of work as a compensation form? Yes. Dexter, the truck driver, that must be Dexter, the... Um... um, Dexter, the... Ah, uh, what's their last name? Dexter is, um, Kyra's... Amy's husband, Kyra's... No. Is that right? I used to play more Solomon Island quests and missions and stuff in Secret World again. Um, Dex, the truck driver, claims to have seen someone on the back of the load undoing the straps. No one else reported seeing us. The sheriff has requested Dex to provide a urine sample. There. Um, what can we do to prevent this? Double checking the straps after transit should be mandatory. And drugs are drug screenings for all drivers. Have the unsafe conditions been corrected? No. Local labourers are very superstitious. And this hasn't helped. Some of them are refusing to attend to work unless we have someone from a local church, church walk in the park and exorcise the spirits. Which is... okay. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, I feel very like I was more close to being violently killed at that point. Where are you, Calum? Seems like a reasonable thing to call at this point. I feel as a baby Calum in this car for some reason. Maybe not. Okay, given that I am on a convenient loading screen, I am just going to go take a pee. I will be right back.
And just to celebrate that, I just got elbowed in my elbow by my door or something like that. Ow. Anyway, let's continue. I've turned my lights off now, so I know I only have my nice bright phone screen so I can see Twitch chat, um, you know, the bright TV screen, the lights on my keyboard, my mouse, and the microphone and all of that. But, you know, there's no big lights. Anyway, let's continue. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, yes, Sheriff. Okay. So, basically that confirms what we were saying earlier. The Sheriff was... Jay Banham, I think it was, was Helen's father, which I think we knew already from Secret World. That's confirmation. Secondly, I think that must imply that... Um, what am I trying to say? I think that somewhat implies that Lorraine lives on Solomon Island. I don't know whether in Kingsmouth, well, presumably in Kingsmouth town, I think it's the only town of any size on the island officially. So I think that confirms that she lives on the island, which is, so I'm sort of putting an extra layer on because unusual though it is, I'm actually slightly chilly. I wonder if it has anything to do with this game. Um, anyway, so yes. For me wearing extra layers, so many people I know would be astonished by this. There may be more notes. Um, there were probably all, but I am trying to look around for the notes. Um, right. Uh, I don't, okay. Mommy is coming, Callum. Don't be afraid. I'm not seeing anything. Callum, why did you go? I think it does have to just be up towards here for now. That is a big Ferris wheel. Oh, that's what's causing the shadow. That's slightly less disturbing than I thought it might have been. Callum, tell mommy where you are. She's getting. I don't like sound. Of... That's not a good noise. Well, it's no. Well, sort of, it is a good noise because it means maybe they're still alive. But still, this is not a good place for the bad in general. And seriously, that is a massive Ferris wheel. Ah, note. Oh, that's quite bright now. Wait for time the lights off. Um, continually delayed by the incompetence of the builders. The problem is that they're locals, and yet so they believe a lot of uh, rumours about what old man Henderson used to do here. No girl from those tales. Every time a bolt comes loose, a wrench goes missing. Those fools are crossing themselves against the black magic. Of course, this is why I chose them. No, this is why I chose this site of all the other potentials. Solemn Line is a nexus for dark energies and the fall to all the power just dissipating beneath the earth here. It makes my skin crawl. I called in a few favours back in Brooklyn and got someone back in Brooklyn. I make no comment on whether the Illuminati are based. And got someone at the local academy to see if they had any interesting books about local history. Turns out they do. And it turns out that Robin Henderson has some pretty strong connections to the Brooklyn crowd. Again, no comment. Um, perhaps something he wrote will help me find a piece of plans that I am missing.
I mean, seriously, does no one else think this is mass? I'm oh, saying that, it's not like. Mm. Um, okay. That was a noise. I want to go and check down this way first. Almost certainly, like I've been saying, I just haven't done these missions in a long time. I will make a point of doing again, doing them again at some point, reasonably soon. Okay, I don't think I saw anything here which is particularly, especially particularly stuff. This is one of the reasons it's a shame that Joel had to leave, because all of these little references and stuff like that would have been amazing to discuss with him. That's sort of a shame he had to, his wife had to call him way soon. But to be honest, give him a choice between having a wife irritated at between, you know, staying on a stream with someone you well, let's be frank, had never met and don't know particularly well. Rather than having a wife irritated at you and not doing that and going home and not having your wife irritated at you, I think I honestly know which I'd choose. So, you know, fair's fair. Are you talking about what I'm saying or about what the whole game is doing? Play. Right, I'm guessing we need to take a ride. Oh, want to take a ride? Well, we definitely want to take a ride. I'm not entirely sure why. To be fair, it's Funcom products. It's all Funcom products. You know, there's no reason they can't do that. Anyway, let's ride a Ferris wheel. I wonder what could possibly go horribly wrong here. Except that the freaking something is. I'm trying not to say what it is because I know what it is, but I don't want to spoil it for people. Freaking something is at the controls. People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Oh, this Ferris wheel I'm on right now, that's no reassuring. I'm talking over, Theo. Fairy tale fucking over. Hmm. Amen to that. No, wait, not amen to that. That's bad. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, freaking Boogeyman! Oh, I said it then. Oh well, Boogeyman, done, so I don't know. I think that was in pre release material anyway, so you know it's not exactly a massive spoiler. But it's like. It's 
Does anything happen if you ride it twice? Does he say? Does she? I wonder if she has the same more. I wonder if she has more to say. I, this could take another while, I suppose, but you know, I wonder if she, wonder if she has more to say, or if it just goes round. Okay, so I think she's just being quiet this time. Okay, cool. I thought it might be interesting to see if there's anything. No, that's just plants. Okay. And back to the beginning again. Now, how fast can we make it go? This is the important question. It's not really, but, you know, it's me, so we have to try. Oh. Okay, that's noisy. So they are going to close this place down. Don't surprise me. Unsafe close park. No. I need to come back to that. This is literally too noisy for me to do anything. I barely hear myself think. Okay, let's try reading that again, so I can actually hear myself, I think. Intuction result. Okay, so intuction date, September 22nd, 1980. Unsafe, close the park. Inspector's comments after touring the park, riding the rides and viewing the startling number of incidents suffered around the park. It is this inspector's opinion that Atlantic Island Park should be shut down until Nathaniel Winter complies with all safety regulations. While I understand there's a sense of political relationship between Mr. Winter and the Senator, I nevertheless suggest that such political considerations be set aside in condemning Atlantic Island Park. The park at first glance appears well constructed and maintained, but the sheer number of incidents in the park during the last few years and during construction leads me to believe that there is something wrong at the base level of construction and we should close the park and fully investigate these flaws. 
to wit, here is a partial list of the fatalities in the park since opening only two years ago. Family of three clothes are killed when a roller coaster car derailed. 14 separate incidents of broken bones and crushed ribs while riding the Octotron. Three suicides from the top of a Ferris wheel. A child seriously injured on the escalator. Over a dozen children reported missing in the House of Horrors since its construction. One report of drowning in the Tunnel of Terror. Oh, Tunnel of Tales. Sheer volume of incidents means that it's my strongest recommendation that Atlantic Island Park be closed immediately. Signed, David Wolsef. Okay. Stay where you are. Mommy is coming, Callum. Callum, where did you go? Where is baby? I think we want to be going this way. Callum, tell mommy where you are. No, that's the way. Okay, no, that's the way we tried to come first time, didn't? Okay, so I want to be going this way for him. Okay. Stay where you are. Does nobody else have an issue? Does, does it, no one want to say anything about the baby? Hell, where did that come from? What, what, where did it actually come? Where, where did it actually come from? A lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk. Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them, little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... <sighs> we all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. Wow. She has some serious parent issues. Mostly the fact that she is a parent. Also, Never mind where that Ferris wheel cart that came rolling along there came from. Where the hell did it go? Oh wait, is that it? I think this might be it. Okay, let me take that back. Callum, where did you go? 
Is that what you told the nasty little man, Your Honor? Um, no. Something. Anyway. Yeah, I think she perhaps shouldn't have been a parent. Based just on that one comment, but I mean, don't be long. She probably has a point. Goodness knows what my parents would say about me if I didn't, you know. But, um. Yeah. Callum, why did you go? He's watching. Yeah, I noticed that, dude. Stay where you are. Don't do it, Molly. Don't do what? I'd like to know what I'm not supposed to do. I presume. Yeah. I always wanted to ride this one. Never got around to do it before. Oh, great. It's locked. That's okay. I'm sure this one out of all of them couldn't be bad. I mean, it's, what did I say before? Family of three killed when the roller coaster cars derailed. Thrilling. I'm so confident about going on this ride. Wait, where's the car? I need a torch. Ride roller coaster. Farewell, cruel world! Oh, this is gonna go well. Let me guess. Oh, Boogie! What Man. We need to talk about Callum. What do you mean? What have you done to him? I? That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Oh, oh, that's disturbing. The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. That's... He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. You know that someone... The park is just so hungry. Tell me where my son is. The witch has him now. Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Just... Just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. So glad I'm not epileptic. Ah. I can't actually read any of that some on the screens. I might have to go back and play my thing through frame by frame. Oh. Whoa! Was that Callum right at the end? I think it might have been meant to be. Ow. Oh. Okay. Let's see if I can turn the brightness down on my phone. That's a bit better, it's sort of washing out my screen a bit, which is a bit funny. But. Very petty, there we are. Oh, right. The calculations and adjustments worked! The transport and storage mechanisms seem to be flawless. What a wonderful day! If only these people knew what they were. fueling? Yeah. 
And so what if a few people leave the park at the end of the day? Feeling dour. So what if the children are more scared and excited on the roller coaster? This could be the doorway to immortality, and such doorways open only to those who have the will to find the key. Okay. So, let's see. First things first. Um, unlike previous assessment, my previous assessment of this, it would seem, based on what I know from the secret world as well, it would seem that the boogeyman doesn't want us to be here. But that the witch has now got us both. Ah, oh, flashlights. With an axe. The witch awaits. Calla, where are you? Do we have a way to use flashlight? Okay. I uh, can't get out this way. Um, so the witch would appear to be a previously unknown character. Oh, just a bit, so I can't actually see what's on my screen. Uh, okay, so the witch would seem to be a... Callum has bruises on his arms, finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. I've asked him, demanded really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. But they are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can't save him. And there will be pain. But I love him, and in the end, he will understand why. Interesting. What is that? Pain for the greater good? It's okay to hurt someone Callum! if it helps them in the end. Callum! All the breadcrumbs. Benson and Grell. I'm curious to see who this witch is because I think in this or seeing world, I think this is the first I've heard of the witch. I might be wrong. Well, I really should have played the missions in the park before again, before playing this. But I didn't, so you know. This isn't a game, Callum! Keep them away from me. The whole town was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. Yesterday evening, visitors went under Kylan Park was shocked and horrified by the discovery of a dismembered corpse behind the cotton candy stand. According to our local authorities, the corpse has yet to be identified, however they have confirmed that the remains appear to be those of a child. The corpse was discovered by a group of teenagers from Innsmouth Academy who noticed a pair of ravens tug Why is the ravens? tugging at something just out of sight behind the shack. Nathaniel Winter, owner of Atlantic Pineland Park, has released the following statement. Um, it is a true tragedy when something like this occurs, especially in a place that is designed to bring forth happiness and joy. Bullshit. Oh, um, the staff of Atlantic Pineland Park offer their condolences to the family and friends of the victim and will co co yeah, cooperate fully with authorities to help bring this case to rest. The Solomon Chronicle will provide daily updates on this story going forward. Is this the cotton candy one? 
This is Laughing Clowns. Bastard. We did this to him. Whoa. Okay. Oh, I got a tingling feeling all down my hat. Uh, I know that tingly feeling. Whoa, that was a... did not see that coming. Which is probably sort of a point. I can help you, Callum. Oh, I was looking right at it. Awesome. Yeah, I could do some pills right now. These are mine. Ah, I thought you sniffing. Ooh, that's a, a two. What does that say? I can't quite see. better off than you were four years ago. Now oh, that's a very good quote. Say no to the graffiti. Some kids laugh and some kids cry but mostly they, mostly children simply die. Wow. New love will be carried away. Not safe. Is that faggot? But that pig, but his daughter is hot. Fuck gravity. Can't read that one. Can you taste? Ah, can you taste your dreams? Destroy reality, I think. Uh, any I haven't seen? Don't believe anything they tell you. Cool. This is a, a, totally not a total drug strap. Whoa, the hell. You think we might have found Callum's teddy bear? Forgive me, Callum. Callum, I'm sorry. Don't leave me here, Callum. Okay. We go this way again. Oh, hello. Don't 
Don't leave me here, Callum. Can I get past him? No. Oh, 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 that, ow. That's quite painfully psychedelic. So he's not letting me go that way. Um, bears here. Okay. Let's go this way then. Don't touch me. Callum, I'm sorry. Oh, right all of a sudden. Um, barely busting as the signature of your personal creator. I believe her name was Mama. Every 17th child is a magnet for sinfulness made omniscient by broken fires and mer. Co what? Co. something talk strain? We don't believe that the earth belonged to battered goats and shamrock after birth. Only the truly naked remnants of righteous indignation are severed by war crossed cleavages. In trust, exercise, arrhythmia. I want. Okay, I'm going to come back to that in a minute. Beaumont will come to the island bearing a talisman and he will shatter the seals that bind the off the doxy of corruption. Only then will priests shoot sloot. Slots reveal, housewives pontificate, and delayed messiahs may axles, ah, axles for the rescue of Tango and Cash. Sweet for temp sweet for temptress who grips the shaft, twists the shaft, absconding with third age something. Into fourth age darkness while gods lie writhing on the shattered face of the earth. Gaia has sweetness and grace, but her days are numbered and heavy fisted hives break before frozen wills and celegraphic Electresses and pen, pens and paper pornography. The all seeing eye will provide decades long updates on this story going forward. Wow. Wow. I'm not sure about this first two paragraphs, but starting from here. This is basically. A description of half the surviving population of Solomon Island. I mean, Beaumont is... Well, I'm not going to say who Beaumont is, in case anyone watches this who hasn't played Secret World, don't want to spoil that. That's a fairly major plot point. Bearing a talisman and the seals. Again, that is all main plot line. Priests shoot. That happens. Sluts reveal. Yes, again, that happens. Housewives pontificate. Again. And delayed messiahs make axles for the rescue of Tangle and Cash. Delayed Messiahs. Edgar. Interesting. I wonder what that means by Delayed Messiah. I mean, we've seen a lot. He's definitely a lot more intelligent than he sounds, that character. <laughs> but still, that's interesting. Sweet the Temptress who grips the shaft, first the shaft, has gone to... Okay, now that's Cassandra, okay. And again, plot spoilers. That is a very, very interesting newspaper article, short story. No, I'm not sure it's short. Forgive me, Callum. Short story, I suppose, is it? No. I'm sorry. Mommy, I'm scared. Oh. Oh. Oh, God, no. Has she tried to kill herself before? She think she's been suicidal before, hasn't she? 
Oh, right, we're going to I'm not sure why that's only just occurred to me. But it does seem I'm doesn't I'm not not sure why it didn't occur to me before, but I'm not surprised if she's been suicidal before. Okay, she's awake again. Okay, I think we're just gonna. Yeah, but. This isn't a game, Callum! The park is a collage of contradictions all of its own. Millions of people die every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Here, the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard earned $5. What secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I've always despised her toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me inside. So, I think we might be approaching the end game. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Of this little. Mommy, I'm scared. Yeah, here we are. We've back. We've come full circle from when I entered in the first place, and there we are. Which is a house of horrors. Oh, we're loading screen. And forest closes gates. A during throng of townsfolk gathered as we hung the heavy iron padlock on the gates. Small minded fools scared of what we don't understand. My machine lies silent and dejected. I am not beaten. I have sent my wife and son back to Boston and I have retreated here to the House of Horrors. I must think. So a Callum.
Well, that was extremely random. Say that. Show yourself. Turn around. Ooh, is this something? No. Okay. Just a stand up figurine, it's fine. These look suspiciously like the Transylvanian vampires. Given to me. Dead end that way. So I think that's the way we came in. That's where we went. So we need to be going this way. Okay. Uh 
pants. Mm. No, that's no. What have you done with him? Lee, I was going to do that with you tomorrow. Let's talk. Oh, read page. Ow, right. <coughs> I cannot dismiss the villain chance. The park works, but something is interfering with its intended function. It's as though very air in this place is corrupting power even as I collect it. Few casualties here and there are acceptable, but when employees go on stabbing rampages, it draws attention. I'd rather not have the boys in either kinds invest boys in blue either kinds investigating was placed too closely. Ah. It's a shame about Steve. I rather liked him. Please, how could you? Okay, so it looks like... I want to say he fired Steve. But... Yeah. I wouldn't be too sure of that. The zombie is awesome. Stop! Yeah, thanks for that. Okay. I hope so. Yeah, it should be a day's cooldown. I thought. I hope it's not three days. Oh well, that's not weird at all. Do I want to open the door? I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? You've got the confidence now. Leave me alone. Torch has died completely now. Nightmare Circus. Circus burns to the ground. Oop. Circus burns to the ground on opening night, killing dozens. The owner is put to death by an enraged uh, mob of townsfolk just as he shouts out a curse. 
No raven dark souled wanderer comes to the ruins of dusk in search of his missing mother. Let the show begin. Oh, why do we don't? Actually, no, I won't. I never have time for reading anymore. Let me out. They gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum, did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now, lost and afraid. Things never got any better. So that sounds like so. so based on that and the fact she had those rashes on her wrist earlier, suppose she tried to commit suicide and probably, being America, got committed for it, and then eventually they released her. The Metro Company. Multiple attempts to payment, we regret to inform you that your service has been disconnected or will be disconnected shortly due to the following. Make the payments list on your last bill, contact us on number two, arrange your payment plan so that you can immediately be reconnected. If you believe this is an error, call us on that same num different number to discuss your options. If you are unable to make payment, please contact your local welfare office to discuss placement for you and your loved ones. Winter in Maine is cold and brutal, don't face it without electricity. Well, it's nice they put that bit at the end, as opposed to if you are unable to pay, you'll freeze to death in a cold and horrible way. Rocking true story, a hunger of a true story of the Donners. On April 16th, 1846, a group of covered wagons began the 2,500 mile journey to California. Just eight months later, they found themselves stranded in the Sierra Nevada and the mountains with very little to bite or suck. It was become one of the greatest tragedies of Western migration that the world had ever seen. Now our panel of Donner experts has uncovered compelling evidence that the families were forced to resort to cannibalism in order to survive that terrible winter. Yay. In this never before seen expose read about how the Donner children were forced to eat their brothers and sisters in order to survive. Oh hell. Oh. Shocking true story. Of course it is. I love you from Callum. What? The Wilton. A solar flare has struck the earth. Millions of people are uprooted from their homes. A young meteorologist searches desperately for a way to stop global overheating. And an exotic dancer named Chan Sohara is the key to saving the world again. That sounds like the sort of crap director TV sci fi channel movie. Dad watches. But what? Why is this here? I mean, I, something screwy has to be going on with time. He's written something like that. Oh no, this is more hallucination, isn't it? It has to be. Of course, it is. I'm an idiot. And um, this is the family. She's basically hallucinating or something. Uh, family home. Not. This isn't. Uh, I'm stupid. I'm clearly a complete halfwit. How did I not work? pick that one up straight away? Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks. Don't drop. Uh, drop of Callum. Electricity bill fix faucet.
Yeah, I'm guessing that never got fixed. As was not a happy. Life was up. Ah, this looks like it might be back to. I want to say reality, but I'm honestly not sure if that word has any meaning at this point. Miss Millard. Millard? Okay. Uh, as we agreed in our meeting today, we consider you fully recovered from your illness. This letter is official identification. Uh, you are considered sound of mind and body and may return to work at any time. Please note that you should discontinue any, medica any medication that you've been using and dispose of any remaining medicines. If you feel at any time that you're suffering a relapse, then please make contact with your local physician immediately. We wish you continued good health. Okay, so Maylard must be their like, family name then. I'm sure I knew that from something else already, but okay. The rain I received a letter from Quantum Heights by you went off with your father all those years ago, then disappeared off the edge of the map. And then when I finally tracked you down, refused to answer any of my letters. I know you write to me asking me for help. I have another family now and another life. Your father was a humble man, and I regret the years that I wasted with him. I loved you, I truly did, but every year you grow more and more like him. You are his girl, never really mine. Still, I would have fought for custody if you hadn't run away with him. It broke my heart, but I needed to go on living. I can't let you back into my life without picking paper, without picking open old wounds. I'm sorry, the but I just can't do it. Maybe one day it will be easier, and I can meet Callum, but not yet. I am not ready to forgive you. Please don't contact me again, Karen. Which I'm guessing is her mother's name, and that is cold. That is damn cold. Oh, it's one of those squishy things where you're sort of supposed to stand or kneel on that something to stay upright. I think. But seriously, that is damn cold. Okay, so she was committed, maybe not for suicide, but for depression. Um, Lane seems to be suffering from depression that began early in her pregnancy. Our discussions made it obvious that these episodes start from grief of losing her partner, Don, who died about six months ago. There were also several unresolved issues with her father. After being kept under careful observation, was briefed by the standard treatment for this disorder, including electroconvulsive therapy. This when we saw more patient responded and made a rapid recovery. Um, aftercare, mostly follow up with local physician, mood stabilizer, lithium based mood stabilizers. Uh, discharge interruptions. Lorraine has a newborn son, Callum, who was placed in foster care shortly after birth when Lorraine placed, sim displayed symptoms of disorientation and depression. It's our judgment that Lorraine is fit to have her son return to her, and as long as she follows her recommended aftercare routine and continues with her medication, we have faith that she will be an effective caregiver. Lorraine has her own housing and her employer. Susie has said that she is welcome to return her shift at the diner. Norma Creed, a local woman, has offered to care for Callum while Lorraine works. It is this support network in mind that we feel confident releasing Lorraine from this institution. Um, prescription for Zolift, I think that says. Work can be fulfilled at Pags Pharmacy in Kingsmore. She has been advised to start with an 80, 50 milligram dose, I think that is, and then based on the advice of her doctor, to increase the medication as needed. Okay. Yeah, I've got a lot of parents. <laughs> okay, so maybe she didn't try to kill herself the first time she ended up getting committed then. I don't know, maybe she tried to kill herself later on. Uh, um, state in, um, Miss Maylard asked inquiry into the state of Mr. Donald Williams being completed. We've got to inform you that primary, be primary beneficiaries of his estate 
including the life insurance settlement for accidental death, were listed as Rose Williams and Richard Williams of New York State for deceased parents. Uh, our agency will make a contract with Mr. and Mr. Williams and explain your situation, especially as regards the birth of Donald's son, Karen. Unfortunately, they were not receptive to our overtures and they sacrificed them specified that without any legal proof of a biological relationship, they consider you ineligible or ineligible to receive any of the monies from Donald's estate. They have asked that you that we no longer contact them regarding this matter. I understand that this may have a negative impact on your current financial situation and I hope that I'm not being too forward when I enclose a bill for our services with this letter. You tosser. But seriously, again, what is it with parents in this game? I mean, Lorraine's parents screwed up, one of them was a drunk card and one of them refused to have anything to do with her. Um, her partner's parents were utterly bastards. He died. He seems to be the nicest, most decent human being. In, he seems to be the most decent adult in this game so far, Don. He doesn't seem to do anything wrong, except, you know, accidental death. And that's even assuming it was accidental. He was probably murdered by dark supernatural forces. And let's face it, she's not exactly doing a stellar job of parenting, is she? So, what is it with you? Seriously. Okay, before I open this door, I'm again going to go and take a quick trip to the toilet, and yeah, I'm going to go do that now, and then come back and open the door. That's actually a really good screenshot. That's about the park, right in front of that door. Okay, let's go through the door. I 
Okay, so I think I've more or less... What on earth is that? I have no idea. This is my own room making me jump now. I think I've more or less worked out what's going on. We seem to be going through, effectively, the range history here, in case that wasn't blatantly obvious at this point. But yeah, so we seem to... Yeah, so we'll keep on working. Nightmare Circus, is this the same one as before? The park it was wait, wait, wait in on a child for take, take, take in, using joy for bait, bait, bait in, while the mother's mind is breaking, and on GZ a win. Hills, Flax Pharmacy. Zolift, yeah, I think that's a fairly well known fashion medication or something I use in the USA. On account of me not living in the USA, I can't really, don't, I don't, wouldn't like to speak to that, but. The main things aren't like between us at the moment. Um, I know, I want to try something. I think it is pretty hard to. Every day working part. Ah, this is a. Um, I think it is because I'm so far from home and I am working so hard. Every day working at the park, worse like a spring. So this is quite hard to read. I'm not sure if it's my graphic settings which are making it hard to read. I'm home. I can't actually read that. Let me just take a quick look at her settings. Uh. That will make it any easier to read. Uh, working at the park, something winding a spring inside my mind, winding tighter and tighter and tighter. When we go for drinks after work, it gets a little better for guys, and we tough and we're good people again. I won't, don't want to come home here without being in my right mind, but when this job is done, we need to get out of this place. We need to go back to the something. Oh, I don't feel like this anymore. I love you, Don. Okay, so this is her partner. Yes, I was thinking about the name for boys and girls. I think Callum for boy and Emma if it's a girl. Okay. That was a letter. To... Why did he have to write a letter, though? Kingsmouth to the... Um, where Atlantic Island Park is, isn't that great of a distance, I thought. In the spring of 1933, in the Soviet Ukraine, an entire population found themselves without food. Over the course of the coming months, the situation grew critical and reports of mass malnutrition began to build from the effort of the government. People have been left with very little to bite or sup. It was to become one of the greatest tragedies of mass starvation that the world had ever seen. No, our panel of Soviet experts has uncovered compelling evidence that families were forced to resort to cannibalism again. <sighs> cannibalism in order to survive a terrible winter. In this never before seen expose, I read about how starving parents cooked and ate their own children in order to survive. She has an interesting taste in books. Yeah, I found that one I just used, which was overall graphical settings, was the. Seems to have helped a little bit, but not massively. Rubik's Cube with... Letter. Some of them seem to be letters, some of them always seem Greek. Uh, Greek.
Oh, an exotic dancer named Levain is the key to saving the world again. Oh, that's a little weird. Oh, wrong way. She's gone up to 100 milligrams, so at this point she's doubled what was her, her initially recommended prescription was. Oh, Callum. Whoa! Oh. That was perfectly. Okay, so milk cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks, Zolif prescription. Remember to take the pills, so was she having trouble forgetting? Or something? That's a bit. Um, follow up with Dr. Spencer and organise a babysitter for Callum. So Norma Creed was perhaps a bit fed up of. Perhaps still going. Norma Creed was perhaps a bit fed up of babysitting for Callum all the time. And there are a lot of wine bottles here. I'm not a pharmacist, so I'm not entirely sure what the combination of. Zolift and alcohol might be. Uh, I have a really good idea. My mother is a pharmacist, so I'm going to see if she would know. Okay, so I just went to ask what was likely to happen, and the short answer is nothing good. Um, shopping list. Naturally, that door won't open. That door won't open. Hold on. That was originally a TV somewhere, wasn't there? Or was that further on? Oh no, that's in here.
I need make no comment on precisely how disturbing that was just then. Disturbing is probably probably an understatement. Lorraine, I received your letter from quite surprise. You ran off your father all those years ago and disappeared off the edge of the map. Remember when I... Okay, this is the same letter as before. I didn't run away. Dad took me. Okay, so maybe she didn't have a choice. I don't know how old... She was when that happened. So I don't... It's hard to say. Hard for me to say whether... <laughs> Thank you, William, for the new watch. It is very nice. It has made me a happy carrot. Oh. Okay. That's the same. Ah, that looks like that's been that's the same letter from Dawn from before. It looks like it's been burnt up a bit. Nightmare Circus again. Shipment goes stab, stab, stabbing in the eyes, jab, jab, jabbing, and move the town, he's gab, gab, gabbing, and just lie down, let it happen. Basil Ganglia win. Seriously. Weird. Story of Hansel and Gretel. A long time ago in the forest in the woods, the little cut his wife and his two children, Hansel and Gretel. They're very poor and had very little to bite or sup. The story has been doctored to hide the truth from the unsuspecting public. And now a panel of fairy tale experts have uncovered uncompelling evidence that Hansel and Gretel were in fact eaten alive. In this end scene, never will see the actors they read about how their parents inexpertly tried to cover it up by telling stories out of which and a house made of candy. All here in the pages of a shockingly fake story. That's quite funny. This is Callum's cap and it now has blood on it. Fairly certain her lie. Her why? Her cry. Bye bye. Her lie. See her try. Okay. Uh, Wilton, really? Okay, so I'm not sure at this point. Either she was having a great deal of trouble remembering to take them in the first place, or possibly she was developing an addiction. Like I said, um, my mum hasn't heard specifically of Zodiac or something, but I didn't ask about this when I was asking her. 
Um, I don't know if that sort of personal medicine would be addictive, perhaps. But for one reason or another, she felt the need to write it down a lot, obviously. Maybe she was... Yeah. I really think the diet here could do a bit of work. History of Solomon Island. And that has now been ripped in half. Blood. Not entirely short part, supposed to be. Boogie Man goes walk, 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 him sneaking, stealing, a stalk, stalk, stalking. Is he really talk, talk, talking? Now is not time for walking. So we walk all tracks win. See, is there some sort of pattern in that I'm supposed to recognise? Oh, that is a creepy doll. No, that is a lot of creepy dolls. And none of them in particularly happy positions. Which, in hindsight, is a phrase that could... I'll just let you look at that for a moment, because, you know, I think that pretty says much says a lot. More creepy dolls. That is now apparently more bloodstained. Uh, I'm, um, say bye bye. See her try. See her why a lie. Oh, why see her try lie. I don't understand that side. Oh, great! A doll's head, just the head. It's really reassuring. Oh, 
Oh, that must have been her and Don before he died. Yeah. My two, oh, my two best friends, Don and Laura. That's Don, which is Callum's dad. And Laura, which is her best friend at the time. Walting. The sun will strike the earth, means the cattle are breezed from our homes, young shadow. This is weird. Oh, look at that little one in the corner, QBL. Well then. That explains everything, it's a Rochi's fault. I think... Okay. Hey, that's a bit weird. Yeah, I was about to say, I think this might be the run up to the point where I believe she might have tried to kill herself. Based on the increasing... Based on that, basically. And... Yeah, that sort of confirms it. over here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that this is a bit of a hallucinated letter, not an actual one. Miss Maylard, as we agreed our meeting today, we considered you to be batshit fucking insane. Let's be clear, you are in no way sound of sound of mind and body, and you are a danger to everyone around you. Please note, your only escape from this should be drugs. A shitload of them. Smoking, snorting, oral intravenous. Take money where you can and as often as you can. That shit can only make your life better. In case there was any doubt, you are suffering a relapse and nobody really cares. Nobody can help you. Now, don't fuck this up. Dr. Spock. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and assume that that's a sort of hallucinated letter. That's getting even more shredded to pieces. But I'm just sort of going to go, because otherwise... You know, she was totally let down with says Well, yeah, so... Well, let's face it, she was totally let down with her system. 
but Okay, something very, very bad is about to happen. See her cry, see her try, see her lie, see him die. Say bye bye, ask her why. Oh. Oh dear. these people? Why are they in her house? And seriously, why, why, just, why, who are these people? Why are they here? This is good and this is really, really, really fucked up. How many? How much deeper to psychosis can she sink? I mean, oh, this looks different. Stories are told again and again, and from their shape we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old witch. A child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time, before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of this story, the mother and the witch were the same person. I never wanted to be the witch, but I am, aren't I?
At this point, I'm starting to really hope she gets a happy ending. But I sort of think we all know that's very, very unlikely to happen. Tell me if you look at it. Given to me. Kids break in today. It has been. In so long since I had laughter, so very long, I took one of them. I couldn't help myself. It was fast. The others didn't notice. I liked hearing him laugh, this boy from the academy. I put him on a slab. I tickled him until he couldn't breathe. The machines came to life, whirring in time to his gasps and shrieks. I think this is delightful. Change wrought me by the machines is not yet complete. There must be other children I can lay on my slab. Okay. TBL publishing gun. Don't leave me. Ah, there we go. Hansel and Russell. Huh. Awesome. So no one ever encountered a secret passage which went anywhere fun and friendly. Bad. Very, 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 very bad. Not good at all. Wait, 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 wait. Didn't the Atlantic Island Park burn down in a fire and had to be rebuilt? I think we might have just found a fire. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Did she? No, she didn't, did she? Did she? Did she really? Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Who's this? What? Is this like an interview room? Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son. In my heart and mind, 
I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Lovey pain! Sesma was in it. Awesome! I, that's the thing I picked up on. Okay, so... Okay. Firstly, I loved that game. That was awesome. Properly awesome. Uh, that took me, what, a little under three hours to do? Okay, so I really, really did like that game. Um... Some unanswered questions. Um, the chipmunk. I'm a little, um, I don't quite understand what was going on with the chipmunk, um, why the chipmunk was in the suit and who that was in relation to everything else. Quite frankly, how much of any of that was reality at all, from a point when everything went dark right at the beginning until the end, how much of any of that was actually real reality as opposed to, well, some sort of delusion or high hallucination or something, to be honest, um, is unclear. Certainly after the pills and that dream sequence thing in the stalls, and definitely in those last little bits. How, was it, how much of that was actually real? How much of that was fantasy hallucination or something? Don't know. Don't know. Um, there are a lot of Easter eggs in there for Secret World, obviously, which is awesome. Um, right at the end there, did she or did she not actually kill Callum? Well, yeah, I was basically like, what, but, well, did she, but, did she, did she, that, or, no, I was like that, right? yeah, wasn't I, so, um, awesome game. Um, what else can I say, um, Yeah, I will. I really like that game. Um, I will. Um, yeah, that's about all I can say about it. Really, it was brilliant. I will say I don't play horror games like this very often. Like you get a lot of these horror games. Like people like Bane can play. You should check his, you should his um, Twitch stream. By the way, he's great. Um, I don't tend to play horror games very often at all. I tend to play a whole variety of stuff, mostly not horror type games of any sort. Not that I don't particularly like them, I just never really played them. So, as a form of better way of putting an introduction to that sort of game, this was very good. It sort of sets a bar too high now, I suppose. Isn't it? <laughs> but, um. I suppose it may be a certain level of bias, given um, that I'm something of a fun common the whole Secret World Universe fan, and this is in the same universe. But, yeah, there were a lot of... yeah. And that whole thing of that gas canister, it seemed to have a fire on it. Again, assuming that was really... Well, I don't think that bit we, that we were really in any sort of reality at that point. But... Atlantic Island Park did burn down, I believe. So... There was a lot of funky shit going on in there. I mean, I mean... I was talking about it a lot of my through. So... I mean, you pretty much get my opinion My opinion of it from that. I liked it a lot. I will be replaying this game at some time. Not straight away, because I want time for the like, effect and the memory to wear off and stuff. 
the notes, I will say, were a little hard to read. It would be good if I'd had some sort of subtit a proper subtitling so you could read them in easy to read text. Um Yeah. Bounce of Harp. Um Okay, so to um let's see, um other things. Um Tomorrow I will be I have to have tomorrow, it's brilliant. I will be doing hopefully quite a long stream of TSW, Secret World, hoping to stream basically all the Halloween events. So going back to going back to the very beginning, the first year's Halloween stuff, then two years ago, then last year, and then this year's new Halloween event, new Halloween activities. I'm hoping to go through doing all of that. Anyone who is interested, I'll be advertising us tomorrow as well, but anyone who's interested in doing that with me, you're more than welcome to come along, as long as you don't mind being streamed. Um, so yeah, there's totally that. Thursday evening in the Secret World is a fashion show event, The High Cost of Fashion, um, which is being hosted by um, the Secret World Database. Um, that will be in the Crusades, I believe. That's basically a fashion show with costume comp with costume categories and stuff for different rounds to be announced. And one night, there'll be a quiz that's going on as well. I think there's something like we worked it out as something like around 75,000 bonus points to be given out in prizes. So it is well worth going down there to um, see if you can win stuff. And this is in addition to fancy unique t-shirts and packs and other prizes, I don't know exactly what else there is off the top of my head. But that's what I'm going to. Friday evening, um, Sanctuary is hosting, a Sanctuary Network is hosting an AMA with Scrivener Manson, lead writer of the Super World. And that is happening on Sanctuary's forum, so you should definitely go check that out. Um, Please tell me I didn't say cost of magic again. Please tell me I didn't say cost of magic again. God, so the cost of fashion was what I was talking about for the first day. I think I probably said the cost of magic. I do every single time. Um, but anyway, it's a fashion show. It's called the cost of fashion. Whatever I said before, everything else is the same. But it's called the cost of fashion. Anyway, um, Friday, like I said, Sanctuary Network is hosting a AMA or forum AMA with Scrivener Manson on the Sanctuary forums, um, which you can find at sanctuary.tswdb.com. Um, yeah, um, I will try and get this uploaded to YouTube and stuff as soon as I can, although you can just watch it back on Twitch if you want to, of course, as well. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, it's yawning now. Why am I yawning now? It's getting like 12 minutes past 11. Um, <clears throat> as for, I did have two copies of Pirate Giveaway today. However, because the only person who was really in the stream was Klee, and he already has it, and I know he already has a copy, he's already played it through, he played it before, before I even loaded the game up. Damn you, Klee. I haven't I really had not been able to give it away to, so I will keep hold of these. I will find some other time to give them away. Um, I will find somewhere, sometime. Um, anything else I can say? Thank you, Fleet Cleave, for coming to watch. Um, thank you to everyone else who was watching Ruth at the beginning. A special thank you to Joel Bylos for coming. On with me for even though it was only for about 15 minutes at the beginning unfortunately 10 15 minutes but thank you very much for making the time to come at all um i know because you know i mean you seriously the devs at funcom are amazing he no reason he had to come on at all he could have just said no i'm busy and he has been busy but he made time to come on so thank you so much for that joel if you ever decide to watch us back um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, so, yeah, awesome. Thank you very much, everybody. Ta-ta for now.